Radical. Hold on to your hats, ladies and gentlemen. You might not believe it, but you can get yourself a copy complete in a box of Silent Hill 3 on the Sony PlayStation 2, complete and tested for the low, low, low price of 152 bucks. We still got like almost half an hour on this bid. So who knows how high that's going to go. There's 22 bids right now. Just want to get this uploaded real quick. By the time I upload this, there might be five minutes left. So if any of you want a complete copy of Silent Hill 3, you, you can snatch this one for, let's be honest here, it'll probably go up to maybe 180. And the shipping and handling is 16, so maybe if you're lucky, under 200 bucks. But I, I don't get this. You see there, right? Okay, it's tested. It's all tested. Could you imagine how pissed off you would be after paying almost 200 bucks for this and, you know, it not working or skipping on some levels, you know? It's got the booklet there. It has the the soundtrack CD you see there. That exact soundtrack CD I had, and I actually sold it at flea market. One of the first gaming things I sold, I sold for one buck. One buck. I I didn't know what I had. You know, to a lot of people that maybe have the game, but they don't have the CD, that one went probably at least maybe 15, 20 bucks, maybe 25 for the soundtrack. Um, And I just don't get it. Really, I don't. Because, like, when it comes to Resident Evil, like, I understand Resident Evil because Resident Evil is a huge phenomenon. So if you're looking for, you know, complete PlayStation copies of Resident Evil, uh, maybe not four, but, like, you know, the first one, the second one, Nemesis... I get that. I understand that. But Silent Hill, is it really still huge? I know there's like, there's a game coming out, right? But I mean, it's not what Resident Evil is. I don't think it is anyways. And maybe it's the rarity, I suppose. There's rarity. There wasn't a lot of copies made, but there had to be like a a good bit of Silent Hill 3 that was made, right? It's not like it's a super rare game. I have it on PC, actually. I have the PC disc. And the soundtrack I sold because I felt like I didn't need it. And I remember getting the PC version for, like, next to nothing, really. You know, so... I mean, this is going to be quick because I want to get this uploaded to let some of you know that you can get your get your hands on Silent Hill 3, which is not even really... It's not the best Silent Hill. I think, universally, the second one is the best one, I would say. And by the time the third one came out, you got to figure the third one's more readily available than the second one. I will say the booklet you see there is in good condition. The disc looked to be in good condition. So if you you really, really need this, you know, have at it. Just not for me. You can have at it, but this just is not for me. Um, What would I pay for this? Uh, Even if I was really into Silent Hill... I mean, I do like the survival horror games. Most I would probably pay is like maybe 60 bucks. Generally, I tell you something about me. I'm not paying more than 60 to 70 bucks for any game. That's the most I'll pay, regardless if it's old or new or rare. Pretty much, yeah. I mean, unless we're talking about, you know, getting it to resell. And if I had this at my booth, I would not sell it for more than, at the most, maybe like 80 yeah, that's the most I would probably sell this for. Just because, I don't know. I just don't think it's worth that much. But some of you might not agree. All right.